So shout out to this guy. His name is H. Henry Lumens, excellent. He says, crypto payment specialist, Stellar Bridges, Fiat, and stablecoins to Polkadot. Another piece of the puzzle. This comes straight from Coindesk.com. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So when we come here, um, we do see that this was posted just, you know, a few days ago. No big deal, right? Like, what, six days ago? Uh, but come on, guys. It's, it's, it's stellar, right? So um, the Spacewalk Bridge built by recent Parachine winner Pendulum is focused on connecting DeFi to Forex markets. Now, don't get me wrong. Long before I got into crypto, my cousin Stephanie, um, she did really, really well Forex. Oh, my God. Like, she was killing it. I mean, she was absolutely killing it. She had a job making a six-figure income being a... Um, Oh, what was it? A, a network engineer. I forgot for what particular network, but she was making bank, right? She's a really smart girl, right? She's half Chinese, half Filipino. Um, but it, she just basically has like smarts in her blood, if you will. So she was going back from Phoenix to like, you know, uh, San Francisco to like LA, Malibu, um, you know, uh, just some really nice beaches and so on. She bought a house out in uh like on the beach I, I think it was what she did a while back anyway and i'm like man how are you making all this bank she's like i quit my job and i got really into forex and i made a bank with it you should try to learn it i tried to get into it wasn't my particular thing i just thought it was too risky i didn't uh, you know i was like i need to force myself to learn this and then right around after that time i got into altcoin trading with crypto and obviously uh obviously here i am with you guys so you know the rest is history but the point is i do recognize when it comes to understanding forex you can really make money with it so anyway um pendulum is focused on connecting DeFi to the foreign exchange markets when we go further down into it cryptocurrency payment specialist stellar is linking to polka dot and its sister network q sama now i know some of you guys are investing in q sama don't get me wrong i'm not gonna jump down that path right now but i am aware that q sama is not it ain't bad right there's definitely something there in that regard but um it's sister network you saw via the newly built spacewalk bridge so what is this about and so on we're gonna get into that now if you're wondering about that this is a bridge built by recent polka dot pair chain auction winner pendulum it aims to connect decentralized finance applications with foreign exchange markets especially in the emerging markets where since it was founded in 2014 Stellar has built up a footprint and partner with the likes of, I always say that a lot, right? The likes of cross-border payments company, MoneyGram. This is pretty big. I mean, maybe you already saw this. I don't think a lot of people did. So it says, while crypto's banking rails in the U.S. have largely been dismantled, seasoned firms like Stellar and others are continuing to build out critical infrastructure, cool cat, there's your infrastructure, to do the job elsewhere. The spacewalk bridge is now live on Polkadot's so-called canary network. Now, why Polkadot, right? Well, keep in mind, Polkadot is a layer zero. So it says on the canary network, you have Kusama and the Polkadot version will be open within one or two weeks time, according to Pendulum co-founder, who is Torsten Stoiber. Pendulum's mission is to combine traditional finance, of course, with DeFi. Um, but look, look at this. You know, we're talking about Satoshi Nakamoto in the past. Well, look at this. Um, so it says with DeFi, who is also CTO at Satoshi Pay. That's of course a whole other deep dive in itself, but it's a crypto micropayments firm that has a long history of building on top of Stellar. And again, think about how many projects are built on Stellar. So in regards to back to the topic, the focus is firmly on stable coins or fiat tokens. Stuber added, not necessarily lumens. That's cool because a lot of times people were post, you know, you could call it like a, a mild version of FUD. People were always, put, you know, drawing recognition to, I like Stellar, but, you know, it's too much focus just on, you know, the Stellar Lumens. Here is your answer to that mild FUD. So it says the native cryptocurrency, of course, of the Stellar Network. And then look at this particular quote. Stellar has a great implementation of st stable coins as well as on ramps and off ramps in different countries for different kinds of fiat currencies. Stuber said in an interview with Coindesk, he also said he don't 
he doesn't think that you'll find any other network that has so many different fiat currencies tokenized on the platform. And I want to state this, and I've said many, many times, and that basically is this. When I make the statement that I feel as though that Stellar in the future will be the world's official, you know, if you had to pick one, right, official cryptocurrency, like you talk to your neighbor, you talk to your great aunt or whoever doesn't have a clue about cryptocurrency. When you mention the word cryptocurrency to them, immediately they're thinking, well, what does that mean? Does it have something like it's a different form of payment? If I talk to elderly people, nothing against them, you know, my dad's elderly and so on, they're me thinking like, well, they tried to do something like this years ago in, in their head. Um, can I buy, you know, groceries with this? Can I buy just regular goods and services? Can I, you know, pay bills for this? You know, all those things are, that they're wondering about. Right? You know, can I buy gas? In the future, obviously, we're going to go all electric, whether we like it or not. But the point is that gets brought up over and over and they're thinking to themselves they're not thinking about all the different tokens all the different coins that are out there they're thinking well is there just one my point is to you guys this is the one and that's why i feel as though you cannot dismiss stellar because it could very well or i should say could it will in the future i don't know how soon but man i'm excited because with this whole thing with iso 222 and what you've seen here feels though stellar will be the one for the average run-of-the-mill Joe Schmo, normal people, you and me, right, for the future. And not just here in our country, but multiple other countries, and especially third world countries, because it allows the value to not be diminished with all the back and forth foreign exchange trading. That's the key thing. And by the way, you don't even have to have a bank account. How cool is that? So look at this. USDC will be the main stable coin flowing across space with uh, space operation and it's also the token stellar integrated with moneygram that the firms began rolling out last year now i know there's a lot here but look what it also says um it also mentions that look at this this is going to include tokenizing of argentinian pesos and even brazilian reals as well as the kenyan shilling for you know africa and some other african stable coins and a couple of euro-based ones now look at this quote basically every money gram agent in the world is an access point to the stellar network they're like hubs right think about that for a second you have to have this th these hubs these points all over the world for the money can continue to flow and do it well you can't have a, si a situation where you have a a breakdown in your network that's the bottom line think about like the internet in itself right like i myself you know i come from gaming i have a i have a uh a centralized server for my gaming group back in the day and i still have it but my point is we have it located where in dallas right why because we want people to have a good connection to where they're connected to a sense the same concept like you have to have these hubs all over the place so like it says Users can off-ramp their stellar assets to actual cash in more than 300,000 locations worldwide. They've already gotten it done. They've already built this. So they can also access on-ramp to the cash like it mentions in crypto and specifically in stable coins. In a smaller subset of that, we are slowly rolling that out to more and more countries. How cool is that? I think this is absolutely great because now you're having a broader understanding that and I'll reiterate right here, the focus is firmly on stable coins or fiat tokens and not necessarily lumens, right? And that was a complaint in the past about, oh, it's still a good project, but it's all focused on the lumens. This is the answer to that mild FUD. All right, glad to bring it to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more information on the ISO 222 compliant tokens and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are aware of the new videos when they come up. Max and I cover these ISOs, and we also have a live show every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next video.